Good morning, YouTube. My name is Alex Hubbard. I am a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today, we're going to do something a little fun. We're going to put Plex on our Ubuntu lab machine. Uh, what we need to do first um, is get into your get into your ESXi lab environment and find your Ubuntu machine we made in the last episode. And the first thing that I do before I play with any VM, it really doesn't matter what it is, especially in the lab where you're going to break stuff. Um, I want to take a snapshot. So let's find our lab dash Ubuntu machine and right click on it once. You're going to see this button that says take a snap or snapshots and we're going to click take a snapshot. We're going to give it a name. Uh, I'm going to say base install Ubuntu and we're going to click take snapshot. And this procedure is the same whether you're working on a Linux VM, a Windows VM or any other kind of VM that you may have. And you can see right here down at the bottom, it's running. We're going to wait till it gets to 100%. Now that we've got a snapshot made, we can open up a putty session into our Ubuntu machine. And we'll do that by typing in the IP, hitting enter, logging in as our lab user. The first thing that we need to do is we need to issue a sudo, sudo app install curl so that we can install the gpg key for plex and there we go yes yes we can continue uh, we are also going to install nano if it's not installed already it may be installed by default with ubuntu i don't remember no okay so it's already installed um, it, it comes pre-installed with ubuntu all right now what we need to do is we need to issue this curl command and it's going to download the pgp key or i'm sorry the G, gpg key um, and install it into our ubuntu vm okay we're good there now we've got to add the plex repository there we go and we've got to install the app transport application it's actually pretty simple to install Plex on Ubuntu. This is the first time I've done it. Well, I, I've done it in my production environment um, for my for my own stuff. Um, we're gonna update Ubuntu. Um, so this is actually the second time that I've done it. Uh, but I I had always run Plex on Windows, um, and now we can actually get to the uh, fun part here of installing Plex. So we're gonna issue sudo app install Plex media server. Um, Plex is very easy to install on Windows. You click the executable and it runs. Uh, I was always kind of a little afraid of adding it to or running it on, on a Linux-based OS just because I'm not a Linux guy by trade. I'm a Windows system admin, but I'm trying to force myself to go more to the um, Linux environment because I want to focus more on security and that sort of thing. And that's really heavily driven by Linux and programming and, and whatnot. So... I am trying to um, kind of force myself to go the Linux route. Uh, so it's going to ask us, uh, do we want to install the package? Yes. And let it go. It's going to give you a progress bar at the bottom. Now we need to see what the status is of Plex and make sure it's running. So we can issue the command sudo system ctl status Plex media server. And there we go. So now you can see this is like the tell almost like the task manager in Windows. Um, you can see that it is active and it is running. So Plex is up and running. I can do control C. If you're using the firewall, which I recommend that you do, um, you don't really want to turn it off. Um, we need to add some rules to the uh, firewall in order for Plex to work. So we're going to issue the command sudo nano um, nano is a text editor in case you were not aware uh, you can use vim and i think there's a few other ones um, I, I learned on nano and that's what i'm comfortable with vim has a little bit of a learning curve to it uh, nano is kind of more of like a uh, like a notepad for windows and and it's just it's just i find it easier to use so we need to create a new file in etsy ufw and applications and again remember to use your tab key because it will help you um plex media server 
it will help you uh, if you don't want to have to type all the uh, you know the full path here. So we're gonna hit enter, and it's a it's a blank file. I have some text over here off screen that I'm gonna copy, and we're gonna paste it into this file, and that's gonna allow some ports open for Plex, and we can do control O, which will actually write the file. If you don't do sudo, it will let you create the um, nano file or the text file, but it will not let you save it in the location in the Etsy folder that you need to save it in. Um, now that we've saved it, we can do control X. We're back to our, our shell and let's issue the command sudo UFW app update Plex media server. So it's going to pull those rules in that we just set. And now we can apply the rules by issuing sudo ufw allow plex media server all. So it's updated the rules. We want to look at Ubuntu's firewall and see if the rules that we just created for plex are active. And so what we need to do is issue the command sudo ufw status verbose and it comes back as an active so if that happens that means your firewall is inactive what we need to do is we need to issue the command sudo ufw enable which will enable the firewall and it's going to prompt you if you're doing this over ssh it may drop the connection you can hit yes and now it tells you the firewall is active and enabled upon system startup so if you arrow up and reissue that status verbose command now, now you can see that you've allowed your Plex Media Server um, inbound on IPv4 and IPv6. So these are the rules we just created uh, to allow Plex to run. Now you'll have to configure it for um, media and stuff. I'm not going over that today. I'm just merely showing you how to install it on Ubuntu. So let's verify that Plex is working. Let's open up our Firefox browser and go to HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the system, 25212, and then Plex's port number, 32400 forward slash web. And there we go. Now you can see, or you can see it's jumped to app.plex.tv.com. That's because Plex has changed some things so that you have to authenticate through their Plex.tv web app. It's some silliness they've got going on. It's not truly self-hosted um, anymore. There are ways around that. Uh, but now you can see that um, you can see that Plex is uh, is up and running on your Ubuntu box. We'll click sign in just for kicks, just to see what it looks like inside. It won't have any media in it. That's a whole separate video. I'm not going over that. Uh, but now you can see that we've installed Plex on Ubuntu. We've configured the firewall and Plex is up and running. Now you can go and add your media to it and join your clients from your smart TV, your Roku, Apple TV, all that stuff, and stream media from within your house. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today. It was kind of a fun little thing. I'm trying to focus more on uh, security and Microsoft Windows, that sort of thing. But this is something that I kind of found interesting and uh, wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you like the video, please, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, turn on your bell notifications. So you get, uh, notified when I post the latest videos. Um, you want to see something, leave me a comment, etc. Like I said, I've got over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. So I've seen a lot of stuff over the years. Um, so if you want to see something specific, want to know how to do something, hit me up, let me know. And, um, I will try to get a video out for you guys. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more IT related videos.